Here was the recipe, and also shout out to Max Crosby for wearing Raiders gear. I like that. <laughs> uh, Mahomes would not blitz, so basically they got to Mahomes without that blitzing. Was the what? That was the recipe. No, that wasn't. Well, what's he talking about? I asked Josh what was the recipe, and this is what he came up with. So now you got beef with Antonio Pierce and Mahomes Josh. Josh, games. you're on the board. Yes. Yes. Nicky, that that headshot yeah. of Josh for the board. Yeah. Okay. No, Josh is not on the board. Well, all right. Listen, I. So this is obviously ludicrous on its face. And because the recipe, no team is going to be able to duplicate the following. Uh, Two defensive scores in seven seconds. And was part of the recipe not completing a pass for three quarters, which the Raiders did in that game. And it is very rare. I have a take, I believe, in my bones, but I'm afraid to say on the air. Oh, wow. But I had a take about this specific game that I told Wilds in his office it's, the day after. It is not. And I'm going to say is, I've heard thousands of takes. Uh-huh. It doesn't crack the top thousand. Okay. It's almost <laughs> in another category of like, I don't know, but okay. wow. you might be right. Here I'm, is I'm curious. an amazing Here take. Here is the recipe. <laughs> That's an amazing take. Christmas morning. With small oh, children. I, 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 I didn't want to say it on the air because the Chiefs I at that you point did. Maybe had you lost said it in the five break. of nine or something. And everyone thought that I was looking for excuses as a, and doubting the team Boy. as opposed to knowing they would never lose again, which mm-hmm. is what ended up happening. Correct. But Christmas morning with small children and his wife, Mahomes' wife wanting him to still do a Christmas routine with Santa and all of the above – I think threw off everything about that football game. And so with respect to Antonio Pierce and the Raiders, well, if you're the road (laughs) team, you can't do it. If you're the home team, you almost have to do it. And the guy who showed up the most with not looking like himself was Patrick Mahomes, who has a four-year-old. Yeah, he was putting together a huge play set. Exactly right. Any parent on Christmas morning, morning, that's one of your first Christmases (laughs) where the kid's really into Santa the whole night. So the idea... That this is the recipe, the blueprint. We have heard this too many times, Brew. And what we know is there is no blueprint. If a team briefly stumbles upon it, there was a time when it was, oh, Vic Fangio. And the cover two and play soft. And then Mahomes started throwing shorter passes than anyone in the league and winning MVPs and Super Bowls that way. So, no, I mean, this is obviously absurd. And, no, they don't have a blueprint or a recipe. (laughs) Well, first of all, as your friend, I am glad you didn't say that take on the day after Christmas. (laughs) I believed it. Because it would have sounded just like an excuse. And we would have hopped all over you. But, look. Let me start by saying I like Antonio Pierce. Mm-hmm. I'm glad he got the job. Me too. I like his swagger mm-hmm. and his confidence and all that. And what he said would be nice in the locker room. When you're getting your team ready for the game with your pregame like speech, that. before the week begins and you, you know all week you're prepping for the Chiefs, heck, even in training camp about what you're going to do this season, they put their pants on one leg at a time just like us. We're just as strong. We're just as fast. We're just as smart as the Chiefs. That's great in private. That was not meant to be said publicly. All right, we saw all year how the Chiefs and Mahomes had just stated it, that all of this stuff just serves as ammunition for him. But what do you want him to do? I want him to say it to his team, but not go on a podcast that's going to be broadcast nationally and say it. Because they don't have no recipe. They got – who's that quarterback? Guy's undefeated. Ain't no Ain't Donald. O'Connell. We're not O'Connell? even sure, to be honest. Right. I mean, I mean, come on. Just – again, I love it for the team. But there are – see – Some coaches, young coaches and young players oftentimes do this. I used to see it as a writer for the New York Times in New York all the time, where a young coach or a new coach or a player would just be honest. They would just be being honest and nothing wrong. And then they'd see their quote splattered on the back page when newspapers were the thing, right? And then after a while, they're like, oh, this is how it's done. Because stuff, I'm sure Antonio Pierce didn't mean we, we, you know, we got something for the Chiefs. We're going to take them out. But now he's going to Whoa. see it talked about like that. And so you learn, I got to be, I got to say things a little differently now that I'm the head coach or now that I'm a star player because it will be 
taken out of context. Mm -hmm. It will be used against me. And that's what I think Antonio Pierce is going to learn with this. Well, the other thing is I don't think it will necessarily work because one of my favorite quotes is that Andy Reid revealed that he texted Antonio Pierce and said, thanks for kicking our butts uh, because you taught us a lesson. And that lesson was like, hey, we've got to keep Mahomes upright. And the other lesson, and tell me if you buy this, because I didn't grind the all-22 on this, uh, Mahomes ran 10 times for 53 yards against the Raiders. They didn't lose again, obviously. And then the Super Bowl, that's the most he ran. And then the second most he ran was 9 for 66 yeah. against the 49ers. Like, all right, if you're going to come after me without blitzing, I'm just going to take off. Yeah. So I assume this recipe, maybe it was a recipe for Christmas Day, but I don't know if the recipe still Well, holds. the Chiefs, one of the things the Chiefs, and theoretically, and you guys know for two years, I've been encouraging the Bills to try to have more of a Chiefs approach in this regard is your secret weapon should be your quarterback's mobility, mm -hmm. and it should be something you unleash right. come the postseason. One of the reasons I was not as high on Buffalo during their winning streak as others were was it felt like they had to go to that earlier than they wanted to. They had that. tried to point. protect Josh because he had gotten hurt last year. Every year of Mahomes' career, he has started. He has run far more in the postseason right. than in the regular season. They don't it famously, they, had, they didn't do a called run for a 60-game stretch leading up to the Super Bowl, a called run for Mahomes, but he also doesn't there run as go. much. That Raider game, he was running out of necessity. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, but the, Here's why I understand why Antonio Pierce is saying this. He's got to instill some belief in his team because the whole AFC West, and we can show it to you, has just gotten their teeth kicked in by this guy. 30 and 5 that is nuts. 30 and, I mean, it's the best divisional record for any quarterback uh, since the merger. And the, I love the QB wins. I know you do. I'm, I'm a bigger fan of those <laughs> other numbers on the board, but I put the quarterback wins on there. And what is so depressing for the division brew is none of them have what the Texans have right now, which is the lo we've taken the long view. It took us a while. We took the long view. They all, and we can show it to you, we showed this to you a couple uh, weeks ago, they all took their shot and missed. The, the Denver obviously tried to sign Aaron Rodgers, yeah. why they hired Hackett, signed Russ, signed Frank Clark from the Chiefs, mm -hmm. signed Randy Gregory, and have, have rolled through coaches. The Chargers went out and got Khalil Mack, went out and got J.C. Jackson, and then paid top of the market for Bosa, Allen, Williams, Derwin James. And the Raiders went out and got Jimmy, signed him, went out and traded for Devontae, yep. have rolled all these teams because they were sick of the Chiefs kicking their teeth in, have made win-now moves and not won, not even a division. And so that's, I think, part of why he's trying to change the culture in Las Vegas. Yeah, and like I said, I love what he said. I just think you say that privately to your team. You don't need to say it publicly like this. Okay. Oh, what? But you were right, Prue. About the bulletin board. Oh. Christina, if we could, please. We I, have bulletin I hate, board I, music. I, 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 we, we need, need some music. We need do. some music. We've been playing NFL yeah. Films music when we do it. Oh, we do. Yeah, that, but that was for last year. We needed a new that, fit. I didn't want to do this because I like Antonio Pierce. He's recipe. And I'm glad well, you, you got like it. Me, but I but was Antonio on Pierce exactly. is on there. You like So that's Jimmy. two. You, again, you no look at the bulletin board. Like. The dopes in Vegas. Yep. And then all divisional guys. Definitely. All divisional guys. The AFC West. I like their heart. You I do? Like their, oh. I like their heart. I mean, it might come back to Harmon. <laughs> Likely we will. We need a bigger bull. like the heart. For next year? Uh -huh. See, I don't think so. I think the Chiefs, I think people, most people will. Really? We, we, we just, the Super Bowl just ended. We got, what, yeah, four, I, four I think it'll slow down a bit. Okay. I think it will. We'll see. All right. All right. I mean, that's a better quote than the first one. He's great. He's great. You know, maybe a little Dan Campbell-ish, which yeah, I like. Sure. Oh, Max, is it just me or Max is kind of sitting there like, yeah, like I'm the one, one of the guys that's going to have to answer for all this stuff. <laughs> but no, after. listening to most of it, Max was talking to. Um. What's the question? Here we go. Yeah. Just waiting for you to ask me to ask you. <laughs> who is the better comp? Since we talked about a few legends, we've been talking about Brady and Mahomes, but now Antonio Pierce has opened up Jordan oh. and Mahomes. Oh, no. He <laughs> <laughs> You are a great actor. <laughs> yeah. I get SAG. Uh, I know, no, so Not don't, enough. Don't, don't be mind. laughing. Yeah. I, it's real. I'm really an actor. I know, you. Bro. I get paid we for know, my acting. You keep saying that. Go. What's the I answer? Do. Um, do you want the question? Well, look, since, since Brady 
is a quarterback well, and I mean, plays football. Uh-huh. I mean, you would think Brady. But I'm the architect. Like, this, this needs to be said because everybody's biting now. True. I'm the architect of the Jordan-esque that Mahomes is Jordan-esque. Hold that on, has phrase anyone ever... came from me. But you have now everybody's that? saying it. No, oh, this have... goes way back. Well, is it in SI? They just yes. said oh, I say he's the best. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones. Well, then they said official. I said he, I was yeah. the first to say he's the best. Okay, the architect official. of two great comps, Mahomes to Jordan yeah. and Purdy to Breeze. Oh, that's good. And, and, I, and they, they, they never they, know. They're copying. Two great comps that a lot of Four people Four years copy. from now, wait yeah, to the Purdy, yeah, Purdy, Breeze thing. Absolutely. Maybe next year. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm going to say he's more Jordan. He's more like Jordan. Hmm. And here's the thing, Nick. When I, I believe when I said that Mahomes was Jordan, that was after his rookie se- or his, sec- his first year as yep. a starter when he threw for 50 touchdowns, 5,000 yards. And I was what I saw – was a guy I, I was like he's going to win all right we just see how good he is he, even though they only got to the AFC championship that year but he's going to have great individual numbers and accolades and winning at an incredibly high level to me that's what makes Jordan the go I will we're not doing sure. a goat debate but Jordan had the incredible individual dominance mm-hmm. measured in large part by stats and accolades and the team dominance. Bill Russell had the team dominance, but his individual numbers weren't like incredible. 15 points a game, 44% shooting. Will Chamberlain had the great individual dominance, but not the winning. You know, Jordan had that rare combination of both. So Mahomes has it. Brady, for the first three championships, didn't sure. have the individual accolades or the stats. Oh, yeah. All right? And he had the winning. And so that's the and, – and you look at a lot of quarters. Bradshaw. The winning, but not necessarily the individual dominance. Particularly until he had it later in his career. Yeah, he, the, won, the, he won an MVP. Exactly. But and the, he, he had some, so, but not, it wasn't complete and, dominant. So that's why I think he's more Jordan. So, next. listen, I'm contractually obligated to register a complaint that LeBron's not involved and in that's this discussion. What I, that's what I noted. Jo- LeBron he's similar also has regard, the individual yes. dominance yes. and the winning, all of that. But the answer is there is no comp. Mm. There is no comp. Because everybody else has a yeah, but that he doesn't. Jordan started his career three straight years under 500. LeBron missed the playoffs early. You know what I mean? Kareem yep, yep. won instantly and then went through a weird dry spell until he got to the Imagine. Lakers. Yeah. Russell, as you mentioned, you know, Brady missed the playoffs in year three, second year as a starter. Healthy, not the ACL year, missed the playoffs and was not anywhere close to the driving force for the beginning of his career. Right. This he, Mahomes is going to be the standard to which guys are held. He is not held to any one standard. He is Babe Ruth. He is Wayne Gretzky. He is Tiger Gretzky. Woods. He is the guy that people are now going to compare others to. Because for Brady, as you mentioned, for the first dozen years of his career, it was a real debate. Is he the best current quarterback? Oh, absolutely. A real debate. And I don't think he had the majority opinion. Le- LeBron, as you know, as much as I love LeBron and think he is, he is the best professional athlete life of my lifetime, certainly. LeBron has a moment or two, and it took him longer to win. Right. Magic doesn't, but magic wasn't the driving force immediately. There is... We have never seen someone in team sports, other than Gretzky, quite like Patrick Mahomes. And even Gretzky didn't win at this rate. He just won MVP right. every single year and won at a crazy rate. So he will be the standard to which guys are held. So I think it is, even if people don't end up calling him the GOAT, whenever the next great quarterback comes around, they are not going to compare a start to Brady. They're going to compare it to Patrick because yeah, Patrick has both no things. Doubt. And so he, so I think neither comp works. Mm. Tune in later when we talk about Caleb Williams. 
<laughs> he called him 2.0. Well, yeah. Which 2. means 0. better. No, it doesn't mean yeah. better. I looked it up. It does. It, does. You it, it means your phone. a better version. Well, unless you're like anti-tech. Again, it doesn't always mean better. It's newer <laughs> yeah, and updated. It's like, not nah. always better. Yeah. Too like, many there are, applications. There are, newer there and updated generally is better. That think I the know. greatest you know, Nintendo console ever is Nintendo 64. Those but, people are called old. Okay, well, I'm just telling you. <laughs> old. That's like me. Like, whoa, I liked it when I could do linear Mario Brothers. Yeah, go ahead. That's regular Nintendo, but go ahead. That was super Nintendo. I've never also, speaking of Wilds Nintendo. being old, we have a story to tell at some point on the It's a bad day. story. Really? Yeah. It Wilds, happened during Wilds the show. Wilds lost a tooth during the show yesterday and just kept moving. What? Yeah. Go ahead. True story. Yeah. I'm looking we'll at your talk team. About it no, later. not in the front. Hub said we got to Odds to win the AFC. Hubs, you didn't like that? Kansas City, <laughs> <laughs> Kansas City at one. Reigning number one seed Baltimore now at two. The Bills, of course, at three. Then the Bengals. And then the Dolphins. Don't forget about the Dolphins. Can, can I say I'm something real quick, Brew, that you might agree with? I don't know I pointed to you, but because I'm not going to answer the question right now. Those odds are insulting. I, I, the Chiefs should be even money. The idea that the Chiefs and Ravens have similar odds, it should be the Chiefs even money and the next best team like 5-1. to one. But don't, Th- I, That it's that close is crazy to me. But I agree. Ahead. I mean, obviously they are still the favorite, but. Don't you think people are saying, and, and we haven't seen anything like Mahomes start. That nobody's so, won. But, yeah, they're saying they're not going to win three yeah. straight. It just has never happened. So, so who's your number one threat? Look, I am not abandoning the Ravens. Uh, I, I'm just saying. I, I am not okay. abandoning the Ravens. I, I envision a day when I kick back up my Jordans on the table and talk about them eating somebody's lunch. I, I do envision I that. See that. I imagine it'll be early November, regular season day. Yeah. That's <laughs> usually we get a free sandwich comfort. out of it. It's well, a look, I, I'm concerned. I mean, they had such a great season. And, I mean, everything was going their way. The MVP, the defense is historic. And then, you know, to fail where they did, it's like. Like a Super Bowl hangover? Seriously. Kinda. Yeah, yeah without, I mean, because it's like we got to go through this whole Because they kind of lost their Super Bowl. Yeah. Because I think they feel like they would have beaten the Niners because they, yes. of course, yes. crushed yeah. them. Right. So it kind of is like a, I'm not being a And whether that would have happened or not, right. but they certainly would have yes. went in with that mental advantage. Right. And, look, they're, but they're going to be good. They're, I think they're going to look at the film and learn that, we should have run the ball. We should have kept running the ball. Surprise. And we got to – right, it's, it's ridiculous what they did. But I am going to go, though, and you know this, Nick, and it, I think it was right why I picked Baltimore was because they are a tough matchup for Cincinnati, which I really see as the team that probably had the best chance to beat the Chiefs, and that's who I'm going to say now, Cincinnati. But Baltimore has played them incredibly tough in the past. Remember, I almost beat them with Tyler Huntley in the playoffs. So – but Cincinnati is my pick. Joe Burrow, I think he's coming back with a vengeance because this is a big year for him. If he either gets hurt or just doesn't have a great yep. year, it's kind of like when is this guy going to really fulfill his promise? Mm-hmm. And, and the team was 4-3 and three with Jake Browning at quarterback. So they got a good team. Yep. Now you'll have him, even if they lose T. Higgins and or Tyler Boyd, they still got Jamar Chase. So I'm going with Cincinnati. So my, my cheat answer is there is no threat. But if I have to give an actual team, let's just look to the history. In this five-year run, the one time they didn't win the AFC, the Bengals beat them. But I don't think it's the Bengals. I think it's a team that can follow that blueprint, which is uh, consistency at the coach and coordinator spot, superstar quarterback, has drafted really well, and can overspend in this free agency period because they have the quarterback so cheap. And that's the Houston Texans. Joe Burrow was in year two. They had drafted T. Higgins. They had drafted Jamar. Or they were drafting Jamar that next year. They have Tank Dell coming back. Slowick didn't go anywhere. I think D'Amico's excellent. Yeah. They have their left and right tackle in place. Not they got to spend money on defense like Cincinnati did, right. and then maybe they can take a big leap. So my answer would be Houston because they can do win-now stuff that doesn't hurt them long-term yeah. because CJ's so cheap over the next three years. It's the smart no, a good thing to do, and they already showed – they're legitimate playoff team. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about if the Chargers, uh, depending on how the bracket breaks, trying to beat the Chargers for a third time? Oh, in the I was surprised where the Chargers. Can we show the full 
Uh, rankings? Oh my God, the Patriots are 90. Tied for seven. Hey, we're on there. Though. Oh my God. Well, that's all 16. Well, how are you Doesn't even matter. Ever Everyone's there. on there. They're last. There. I mean, that's 90. <laughs> can I tell you something? You're last. I mean, wow. what, decent bet. One. See that? Decent bet. No. No, it's not. You just you just told me how great it was that the Texans are going to be because they have a new coach yeah. and got a new quarterback. Hello, we're going to have a great defense. That's smart money. Spend a dollar on it. Still Spend a dollar on it. Win $900. The Steelers. Are you allowed to gamble yet? How old are The 90. Wild. Vegas surveyed the landscape and said Shoot. the Raiders and the Titans have a better chance to win the conference than you guys. Okay. Rewind this earlier. Yeah. Can you bring out the board again, please? Yeah, no, why? Yeah, there, please bring out the board. Christian Akeem, please bring out why? the board. Because you don't get to 10 play. minutes ago, yeah. you said dum-dums in Vegas, yeah. we, are they're on the board. Yeah. They're on the board. So now they're dum-dums when they're on the board for the Chiefs, but when they're the Patriots, oh, the wise in Vegas can't beat Vegas. <laughs> Consist- you're, I, I used to know it. someone named Mr. Consistency. <laughs> Where'd he go? Because I miss him. <laughs> Dude, I, I need Thank more water Christina. so I can't speak. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.